What is up, guys? My name is the Russian Badger, and I've got a game of Squad Rush for you today on Laguna Alta. And Laguna Alta is the new Squad Rush map that came with Map Pack 3. And I gotta tell you, it is dandy. I mean, beyond dandy, I might describe it as fucking amazing. And that's an accurate description. Uh, it's my new favorite Squad Rush map, obviously, because I'm, I'm not sick of the other ones. But the, this one is just... It's so... It's... I don't want to describe it as linear because it's not necessarily linear, but I do like it because the first objective is destructible, which might be a little bit bad for you if you're defending and a little bit good for you if you're attacking. But I, I, I like the layout of the whole map. And here I'm informed by a teammate that we've got some guys that are on the objective. Watch this extermination. Okay, entire team. There's one guy. Okay, so we're at one right now. Now pay attention to two. I get this second guy in the corner here. Okay, there's two. Now watch these two watermelon dipshits get it. Three and four. That's the entire team in a span of about 20 seconds. That is straight up genocide. I tell you what. And I do apologize if I sound like I'm bragging and I'm some kind of egotistical and inconsiderate prick. And it's by no means a quad. I heard my I heard my teammates go quad as soon as I did it, but obviously it's not a quad because it's not really that consecutive. But and actually, my teammate here, he's using the Abacon as well. He gets a uh, triple spray, which is very nice. He defused that objective pretty quickly. And one other thing that I do want to hit on is the Abacon. Okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and declare that it's the most overpowered gun in the game other than the M60. The M60 is absolutely fucking outrageous, okay? The M60 is, by all means, a man cannon. It is absolutely outrageous. And I know I just said that a second time, but the M60 should be described as outrageous twice, okay? It is that ridiculous. And uh, here I get stuck on the pole because I can't navigate in buildings that I end up getting shot as a result. And that's one thing that I cannot do to save my life in Battlefield Bad Company 2, guys. Oh, I do get revived. Thank you, Rico200, you saint and scholar of a man. But that's one thing that I absolutely am dreadful at in Battlefield Bad Company 2, navigation inside buildings. I don't know if you guys get this, if it's lag or if it's Dice's fault, whatever it is. I can't walk through, I can't walk through doorways, I get stuck and then I fall into the wall and then I'm moving around and I'm teleporting. I can't even walk upstairs because I like teleport through them. And I gotta tell you, I cannot get up a ladder to save my goddamn life. I am absolutely dreadful at getting up ladders, but uh, I make do in buildings. I'm not very good at navigating inside of them, but I do alright. And that's, that's actually where a lot of my deaths st steam from. It's like... Alright, uh, I just got stuck in the stairwell, and then, uh, I got shot in the face. Okay, that's dandy. And essentially, the enemy's tactics here, where they were basically throwing C4 and AT4s on it, and that AT4 by that engineer, uh, finishes it off. Okay, how did I not damage him? That is absolute horseshit, okay? I have no idea how I just did not flat-out damage him. I mean, he saw it 100% health. And I have no idea how he didn't get hit by at least one of my bullets, but whatever, Mr. UMP. Obviously, you're going to beat me close range, but I'm not going to cry about it because I've got the Abacon and it's dandy. It's not exactly great close quarters, but it's okay. And I got to tell you, if I did not have a headset, guys, basically half of the people playing Battlefield on PS3 would have my dog tags. I sound horror, I hear this guy behind me, and I pop him directly in the chest. I'm not going to say headshot, because... Oh, oh, they gave me a headshot. Look at that. But I'm killed by that same UMP prick. I mean, the UMP guy. Sorry. I Excuse my language, but I do get a revenge kill soon enough. Don't you worry. It is it is fine and dandy. But uh, the UMP... I'm not going to say I hate it, but uh, it's definitely got quite the range for a submachine gun. And uh, pay attention to this reload. Okay, you ready? I shoot this guy. Watch my reload. I reload the gun, but it just doesn't reload. It just keeps two shots in the clip, and it also almost gets me killed. And because I'm so good with my M9, okay, that sounds like I'm bragging. I'm sorry. But what the hell went on there? I reloaded my rifle, but apparently it didn't reload. Like, I saw my hands take the clip, 
away and then put a new clip in and then apparently it just didn't reload for me. So that is kind of not something that you want happening when you're about to shoot a guy. But since I'm so good with my M9, I got my ass saved, but uh, I get fragged. And that is my final funeral. And I remember at this point in the match, I basically said, that is it. You suckers are going down. I am going to shoot you every single time directly in the teeth. And that's exactly what happened, guys. I just kind of take a, a high vantage point here. And I straight murk these kids. I murk them. Um, we know there's a medic off to the left, but I don't want to go for him yet because I know he's got an M60. I bet he would outgun me. So, uh, eventually we, we do proceed over here to get him as soon as an objective is armed, but we've got a good team set up here. I mean, we don't have a sniper wasting, wasting our tickets. See, that guy goes off and gets the medic on the left side. Very, very nice. Well, we've got a medic and three assaults, so we're very, very, I don't want to say balanced, but three assault I'll take that shit any day I mean engineers are not necessarily needed I mean okay they're better close range but there's no vehicles to take out so the role is moderately limited but it's always nice to have an engineer but I will take three assaults and one medic any day of the week guys and I gotta say the one thing that is absolutely mind-boggling and annoying is when the attacking team just has four medics that is fucking awesome it's awesome if you're playing on the attacking team with four medics, but if you're playing against it, it is awful because they just keep reviving each other and their tickets virtually never go down unless you kill their entire team. And uh, if you guys want a little easy button, oh, I get that guy, he's on the objective, but uh, if you guys want a little easy button while you're attacking, go all medics and you guys will rape. Okay, here's a revenge kill on the UMP guy. He's now a sniper, but I got him. How does that feel? Directly in your chest. God, dude, I'm losing my voice. I just did like, I just did four straight commentaries and I'm kind of yelling in each one. And my voice is starting to fade, but I'm sure you can hear me quite well. God, I feel like I'm some kind of smoker that just smoked a, oh, my throat feels like I have some kind of cancer. Like I just got back from Nam. Oh, here's this kid. Get him in the ass. And then I get the final kill with this kid in the corner. And this is the last gameplay that you will be seeing me with the AN-94 Abacon for a little while. I'm using other assault rifles like the uh, XM-8 and the AUG. That's it. Uh, we win, guys. I want to thank you for watching, and you'll see some of those new gameplays coming out very, very shortly. And uh, I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.